Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another replay cast. This is Shadow Fury CC3 with a match between Silencer and Cube. And no, I will not be making any Modica Magica reference jokes because I really don't know what, as mentioned in the tournament, I don't know what jokes it could make that relate to Zero K. I really don't. Let us begin. We're on Moon Q10X, a map which I actually don't really like all that much and is also really bright. That was a mistake. I should have turned the brightness down first. There we go. Anyway, Moon Q10X. It is, as you can see, a fairly asymmetric map. Very cratered. There are, well, there are about the same metal spots in the areas, but it's fairly weirdly distributed. I mean, Cubase is going to have a nearer metal spot to him here, but then Silencer has a three metal spot in the back of his base that's very safe. A lot of reclaim compared to what Cubase has, at least near his opening. And... Also, a nice choke point here. Granted, this hill here is bot passable, so he could just be attacked from here. It probably will be. But this center section is really what both players are going to be going for. And Cube, on the other hand, he does have metal spots around, but they just aren't as easily defended. There is this three metal spot in the back. That could be pretty well defended easily. And other than that, it's relatively even. But yes, it is a very asymmetric map. Silencer going for Cloakies, and Cubay also going for Cloakies. Cubay is going to be getting harassed very quickly. Silencer coming in with a Glaive, taking out a Metal Extractor in production. Cubay had to reclaim a bit just to get the metal he needed to get out of there, but he does have Laser and E-Cell Calm, so he's not going for the Weaponless E-Cell Calm. He is going for a Laser with it. However, Silencer going for Weaponless E-Cell. Like I said in the last game, that is the current trend, is Weaponless E-Cell Commander. Because the E-Cell gets you what you need, and the weapon is really not as necessary. Although, I don't know, we might see that change, but as it stands, that is what people go for. Because it's just easier to get without running out of power, or running out of resources in the meantime. Mostly running out of metal that you could be used to building units. That could be used for building units. And a couple of builders coming up, and it looks like Silencer is going to be just going for many glaives. While... Cube is building a few builders, hasn't really shown what his build order or his build plan is going to be. Has a few glaze for scouting, just seeing where Silencer is setting himself up, just to see if he can catch any constructors off guard, and he won't be able to. He will catch a constructor, but it's gonna be guarded by five glaives. That will just take him out. I just point out Silencer, I'm not sure how new of a player is yet. I don't think I've shown him on the stream yet. Looking at his stats, he's only been playing for about three weeks. Looking at the way he's building, he's clearly been playing since Total Annihilation, or at least he's played at Total Annihilation because, or maybe Supreme Commander, because building 100 units like this, like queuing up 100 units, that's a more common tactic I've seen in people who are used to original Total Annihilation or possibly Supreme Commander. The Supreme Commander did have infinite build queues, however, so I think it'd be more of an original Total Annihilation or maybe a Balanced Annihilation habit. Yeah, Sil Silencer is clearly an experienced player, just given that he's, or at least an old school player. And Cube forcing the Glaive to waste ammo, not that it really matters, but still allowing his Glaive to heal in that crater. Nice move there. And actually, the Glaive's going to be able to take out the radar from the looks of it. No! Able to take out the radar in his death throes. His final bullet fires after it dies, gets rid of Silencer's radar. So Silencer is a little bit more... Actually, Silencer is completely in the dark other than the line of sight. Cube, on the other hand, he is... Also lacking radar, but he simply hasn't built it yet. Now Silencer coming in has... Well, I haven't seen him build it yet. I don't believe he has. Silencer doing the same thing, trying to find defenseless constructors, but Cube is expanding to the north. He is not expanding and slightly into the center, just double-checking he can take the center. But he's expanding to the north and expanding in his base and relying on overdrive rather than relying on... Which is working okay. He doesn't have energy excess yet. It should pay off soon enough, but he's relying more on overdrive than he is on getting a lot of metal extractors from the looks of it. And right now, Silencer and Cubay are about even. Also, he's got to be relying on Reclaim. He has taken quite a bit of the Reclaim in his base to the south. Not taking the stuff that's a bit more vulnerable to the north, but he will soon. And it looks like these constructors have probably been also reclaiming all this time. I mean, they have been building up Metal Extract at the very least. So he is going to be... Well, able to remain more or less on par. Though Silencer is starting to get more metal. He has 21 metal without Reclaim. And Cubay has 19. Cube is about to get 21 of his own, just getting this last metal extractor here. So it'll be even out once again, but Silencer a little bit ahead. And like I said, with Reclaim, that's going to make a difference. 
And Silencer is taking advantage of that reclaim. And he's also trying to make sure Kyubei can't raid, and Kyubei's not going to be able to do so. But Kyubei is going to be able to conquer the center, or at least for now take it. And that is going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with. The center here is, like I said, a very valuable part of the map. It's, there's about 7.5 metal here across these three extractors. It is in the center, so it's obviously very contentious, but it's still three points inside a crater. Although it's far enough away from the crater walls that it's not too easy to get a lot of range bonus in there, but still, it's... You can do some crazy things with Crater Micro, and we see QA is trying to do so, but he is fighting an uphill battle here, trying to get Silencer off the cliffs just to avoid fighting that. What you want to be doing on cliffs is going up the cliffs while fighting, forcing your opponent to come after you up the cliffs. So you retreat up the cliffs, and they are fighting an uphill battle against you. But QB unfortunately, not able to quite do that here, and has to run away. Silencer also protecting the west side of his base, so QB can't easily attack that, and a bunch of defenders here. I'm not sure why QB is building all these defenders near this one metal extractor, but... Bit of an odd choice, but that is exactly what he is doing. And Silence are coming along the west side of the map, or south side of the map, from the east to the west. And a tick, not able to really do too much. Silencer looks like he used his tick for not much at all. While well, Kubei is going to have to worry about... This constructor is going to get killed, actually. It's going to run right into these glaives, and it's going to go down. His own glaive here is not sure what to do about this rock. However, Silence's Glaives look like they are in fact going to... No, they're going to avoid that Constructor. Kyubei got very lucky his Constructor did not die there. Granted, at the same time, he is also going to be taking a lot of damage, losing this Metal Extractor and taking some damage here on the power plants. His only hope is that these power plants act as walls. Same time, east side of the map, Kyubei is coming with a fairly powerful attack, but it's kind of clumped up. He needs to get up those cliffs and just raiding, trying to avoid Silence's forces while Silencer comes in on the south side to deal with what is there. Kyubei trying to take out Silencer's economy, and right now they are still about even. And Kyubei actually nicely dealing with Silencer's forces. Silencer's forces came in a line, but even with that, there were just too many of them. But the defenders should be able to finish them off, and if not, then the Glaives will certainly do so. However, that wall of power plants is not yet completed, and the metal extractor goes down. And on the east side of the map, Kyubei simply avoided combat, but he's not going to be able to avoid combat forever. He does have unit, his units in a nice line, but he is going to be fighting... Well, he's not fighting downhill, so it's not the biggest deal. Anyway, sounds are coming on one side of the line, and Kyubei trying to get in a good position and not doing too poorly, but that isn't going to have much of an effect. Neither side really loses much. Rocco's coming in to follow the Glaives up, and Kyubei not paying attention to the side of the map. He is instead paying attention to the... Well, it looks like possibly northwest side of the map. He is paying attention... Well, now he's paying attention here. Scattering his attention across the map, trying to make sure that he has some expansion over to the northwest side and trying to take out the northwest expansion as well from Silencer. While taking the center, Kyubei, not a bad position for fighting, but he is still losing forces. He still had a numerical disadvantage, and the terrain helped a bit, but ultimately evened out. He didn't use the terrain so much, he just went over it. But now, forcing Silencer into the laser turrets, Silencer's going to lose a glaive. No, he's, okay, losing one glaive, but able to retreat the rest of them out of there in time. And other Glaives avoiding that combat entirely, but a Warrior is going to be a problem for Kyubei. At this point, Kyubei has not built anything other than Glaives. While Silencer has been building a more balanced army, Rocco's Warriors and Glaives. And this center is going to go down a dozen Rocco's. The Glaives don't do too much, but the Rocco's are going to do plenty to take out all of these Glaives. And the Warriors as well will help out. It looks like the Warriors are simply there as anti-raider and not being used as a frontline assault force, which they actually are quite good at. No, the Rockos instead are the frontline assault force, and Kyubei coming in, however, with two dozen glaives from the south to try to get rid of those Rockos, getting his commander out of the way, and that commander is going to be okay with the beam laser. It's basically a walking lotus, but the glaives on the side are going to distract the Rockos and kill most of them. Looks like this Rector Field is going to stop a lot of their fire, though, and yes, there are quite a few glaives going down. Four or five glaives have gone down, and the Zeus is, sorry, the, not Zeus, Warriors coming in, trying to deal with the commander, and they are able to do so. Kyubei losing his commander at the cost of two warriors, but that is definitely worth it, especially since Kyubei did have E-Cell. Although, granted, so does Silencer. But Kyubei's energy economy is now less than his metal thanks to losing that commander. And that's without reclaim. He has 26 metal and 22 energy base. Silencer is coming in and starting to deal with these glaives, getting rid of quite a few of them. Looks like that is going to be well, 
Silencer is clearly doing quite well. He has got twice the economy, it's twice the twice the army of Kubei. The economy is about even, but the fact is Kubei has been losing a lot of forces. He's been focusing entirely on glaives. It's just been glaive span this entire game, which is starting to find his weakness. The Rockos it definitely counters, but the Warriors are just going to finish it off. And Silencer just has more glaives. Silencer has been focusing a lot more build power in his factory. I mean, Kubei does have a lot of build power here. He is now going for Rockos, but still a lot of his build power has been devoted to reclaim as well, while Silence has been purely build power. And Cuba has also been spending a lot of money on his defenses, surprisingly enough. And losing a lot of metal extractors now, Silence are taking out a lot of the metal extractors. A couple of rockers coming in, and a bunch of glaives, however, trying to get rid of the base. Nice raid by Cubay. I can't believe I missed that coming in, but yes, Cubay is getting rid of Silencer's commander, so both players losing a commander, and Silencer also losing his energy economy, at least temporarily, the solar plants all being closed up. And Silencer going for a counterattack with his Rockos and Warriors, Cubay's attack being fended off, but all the build power going away. Silencer has no extra build power to his factories, simply the 10 build power that's base, while Cubay has a lot of build power, most of it going to this power plant here, but still he does have enough build power to at least push out his forces twice as fast as Silencer can. Getting a nice tick shot in there. And a bunch of glaives to try to clear out these forces. Another good tick shot. But the real target here is going to be this warrior. If he can get that with the ticks, that will be beautiful. And he is, in fact, able to do so. Stopping Silencer's entire army with ticks. The entire army has got another basically 20 seconds left to go down. These glaives will be able to finish it off in time. Nicely done to Cubay. And another glaive just for good measure, just in case. Although immediately taking out one of the glaives as well, but still able to stop the warriors quite nicely. One last warrior here, which is going to go down to a glaive and, well, two glaives supported by ticks. And another tick is just out here for defense, but looks like Silencer's entire army has been defeated. And the fact that Cubay synced that up with destroying Silencer's build power means Silencer is going to take a while to rebuild that army. At this point, the players are once again even. Cubay has managed to equalize that. And that is very effective, pulling defeat, or pulling victory, well, pulling not defeat out of the jaws of defeat. Because he could very well have died there, but he did not. Nice use of ticks, nice use of his glaives, and he's still spamming glaives. He's still going very heavily for those. Has a few Rockos here and there, but no warriors, nothing but glaives. At this point, Silencer, also building a lot of glaives, has enough warriors, I think, to be able to fend off most of the glaives. They were just out of position at the time. They were ready to attack, and Cuba took advantage of that. Now, Silence is starting to take the center on his own, getting some Lotuses up first before going with the Metal Extractors. While Cubay taking the west side of the map at this point, looks like Silencer is actually not doing too well for map control. He is... Well, he does have the center somewhat. He has his own base, but he hasn't really got the southeast. His main economy right now is Reclaim. And at this point, his main source is going to be his commander. That's his biggest asset right now is the fact that his commander died in his own base. He can easily reclaim it. Doesn't have to worry about risking anything for it. But he does still have to worry about the center. He's taking some damage there. The Lotus is going down as well, but the Glaive, not enough Glaives to deal with that. Not enough forces, really. Glaives aren't great at dealing with laser turrets. You need about, about half a dozen or so to be able to kill a laser turret. However, Cubay is pushing 30 metal into his factory. I mean, he's getting Glaives once every five seconds or so. Or possibly less. In fact, well, let's see. Glaives cost 65 metal. There's 30. Yeah, that's more like. Two to three seconds. So Cubay is going to get a lot of glaives. Silencer as well does have his build power back up. He is in fact building the glaives slightly faster. At this point I think the bottleneck is the fact that they take a little while to ro roll off the plant. Well, it's taking them as long to get off the build floor as it is for them to be built in the first place. I think Silencer is probably going to go for a second factory fairly soon. Cubay I'm not sure. He seems to like going with the cloakies now and he doesn't have quite as much metal. Silencer still has a lot of metal coming in from reclaiming his commander. However, that is almost out. He's about 100 metal left from that. Once that's done, he'll be back to even with Cubay, but still, that's a quite a boon. That being said, Silencer and Cubay have an even army right now. The biggest advantage, I think, to Silencer is the sheer number of forces he has, but at the same time, Cubay walking Silencer right into his defenses, and that'll be effective. Not the most effective necessarily. Cubay did get himself surrounded during that fight. Not the best Glaive micro, but... No, not the best Glaive Marker. That really lost it here. He's going to lose this base as a result of this. At the same time, though, he is going in for a counterattack. Going in for the center, trying to take that out. Should be able to do so fairly effectively. Possibly go into the base as well. But yeah, Cubay... Unfortunately, those Glaives got stuck inside of Silencer's formation of Glaives. And that finished them off too soon. 
Akube losing all of his glaives, and he is also taking out the center. Sorry, I shouldn't say losing all of his glaives. He lost all the glaives in the southeast. And able to reclaim quite a lot from that fight. I mean, Kyube does have a lot of reclaim potential. Four caretakers as well, so 40 metal being pushed into the factory. And now he is at the same stage of it takes longer for his glaives to walk off the build floor than it does for them to be built, pretty much. And if it doesn't before, it will certainly now, once he's got this fifth caretaker, or fourth caretaker up, so that's 50 metal being pushed in. But both players very much in love with glaives. Pretty comfortable, clearly, with Glaive Micro, just using that as their way around, rather than focusing heavily on building up other units to counter them, building up a scissor advantage. Admittedly, Warriors are being gotten for Silencer, and that will get rid of the Glaives, no problem. The only hope that Kyube has is effective use of Ticks, which we have seen he can do. But it is difficult to set up when it's not a trap, and Kyube setting up Storage as well. This is interesting. I, you don't see Storage much, but I did see it last game, and seeing it this game, that's... Surprising. Granted, given the amount of reclaim, I'm not terribly surprised. And gunship plant. I should have pointed that out earlier. There is a gunship plant for Cube. Silencer, on the other hand, does not have a second factory. He is purely focused on spamming out glaives and a few Zeus's here and there. Yeah, mostly glaives. Like ten Zeus's, ten, ten glaives for every one Zeus. And tick, not a bad placement, not a great placement, but no follow-up. So that really doesn't help. However, Cube is moving around the map, and just double check radar. Right now, Silencer has no radar. Cube, on the other hand, has no radar. Neither player going for radar. Very interesting. I think Silencer may have had radar before. No, it doesn't look like he does. He is, in fact, completely blind, other than the line of sight. He's relying heavily on line of sight and on game sense. But unfortunately, that's not working out. He has, the second time, moved his forces out of position when Cube goes for an attack. Cube definitely knows when to attack. I mean, he clearly sees the forces somehow, so he knows when he can get away with attacking, and looks like he's going to get rid of the... The Cloakybot Factory is going down, the Caretaker is definitely going down, but that Cloakybot Factory is also going to go down right after. This Zeus is a bit of a risk though, but that's not going to be too hard to deal with. The Glaive should take it out. Losing two of their number, and that's not good. However, there still is not a build bar being pushed in this factory, and it will go down, but at the same time, Cubay taking a lot of damage, his own... Gunship plant gonna go down. This brawler is not is gonna be done in time. Just barely done in time. And that Cloakybot factory has gone down, by the way. Oh, by the way, that's actually the third brawler. So I was a bit mistaken there. But yeah, brawler. Actually able to possibly save the gunship plant, but Silencer is able to take revenge on Cube. Taking a lot of damage, but still able to get rid of the Cloakybot factory. Able to go to the gunship factory and get rid of the storages. So immediately Cube didn't need that. He wasn't actually floating at the time. But Silencer certainly is. Silencer has a lot of metal in excess. He has no factories being built up. He is building up a caretaker in the center of the map. Looks like he's going to build a more proxy factory. Cube, where he's going to rebuild is probably going to be the northwest. He is building a caretaker in this crater. I'm expecting another factory coming out from there. And these brawlers will finish off the rest of Silencer's forces. Now, whether or not they're able to finish off Silencer's base, it depends on what Cube does. And right now, actually, if Cube picks the right point, Cube can actually win this game. He can take it home if he gets these if he gets these brawlers over to the center of the map or into Silencer's base, one of the two. That should take it. And Silencer does not have any anti-air set up quite yet. He does have a Cloakybot factory coming up, but no anti-air in his base. He does have the Zeus's, though. That will be a bit of a risk. Let's see what Cube does. I think he's going to just work on rebuilding. I don't think he's going to focus on attacking too much, but we will see. We have... A couple takes out nicely, and the Brawlers are moving in. They are moving towards the center. However, I don't think they're going to find it. Let's see if... I don't think Kyube has radar right now, and no, he does not. He is completely blind other than the line of sight. While the Brawlers are... Admittedly, on this map, radar is difficult to use well because of the hills. Because of how tall these hills are, you have to build them on top of the cliffs. Which is risky, because your opponent's going to walk over that cliff and find the radar and destroy it. We saw what happened to Silencer's radar, and he's... Oh, it's been reclaimed. But... Yeah, it's pretty clear that doesn't work especially well. And a Razor's Kiss being built in the center of the map. This is good anti-air. Silence is going to be able to push off those brawlers for some time. And these glaives are not sufficient. Not enough glaives to deal with this. And Cube able to push... Well, now he's on 20 metal. He has four, 40 metal... Or 40 build power being pushed in, but only 20 metal income. So that's going to lead him to... He still had an army, though. I mean, the brawlers are really big for that. And they are dealing with some of the power plants over to the southeast side of the map. Silencer does need these. He doesn't have a huge amount of power. He doesn't have any real excess of power. 29 power, 25 metal, so it's about even for what he's doing with it. 
and both players are even for build power, although, no, Silencer's slightly ahead. Silencer does have 25 metal to 21, so it's a slight advantage, but at this point, QA does have a military advantage. He does have these brawlers. They will be able to take care of pretty much any number of glaives. The main risk is going to be running into dedicated anti-air, and at this point, that has not been built. Glaives are everything Silencer is going for. That Razor's Kiss is really the only risk, and a bunch of glaives coming into Cubay, sorry, from Cubay, coming into Silencer's base, which should be able to take care of it without issue at the same time. No, there are some dedicated anti-air. Jethro's have been built already. That's all that's needed. These brawlers are going down. Cubay trying to fight desperately with the brawlers, but no, that will not work. Both brawlers being destroyed, and Cubay's glaives at the same time getting destroyed by Silencer's forces. And Silencer has so much reclaim to work with in the center of the map, while Cubay, on the other hand, only has base metal. He could go back here, and it looks like he is, in fact, going back here with some workers to his old base to reclaim what he can. Probably rebuild these metal extractors as well. That's exactly what he's doing, in fact. So that's going to be some economy. It's definitely going to help out, but at this point, Silencer, however, he did lose a few metal extractors there. That, that was fairly damaging. These are... Well, a couple of these are silencers, a few of them were Cubase, but that was fairly damaging. And more glaives coming in to deal with the power infrastructure. Now, Cubay clearly not paying attention to this. He's not taking up the metal. He is focusing too much on power, and that is not really a focus. That is him being distracted by the center, battle, and not microing too badly, but still, his glaives are massively outnumbered. That was about a 4 to 1 ratio for silencer at least. Not going to work out too well. And in the northeast as well, silencer able to defend this fairly effectively. At this point, silencer actually got a military advantage. That military advantage and cost for QA was the Brawlers, and they were lost to the Jethro's. Which really wasn't that surprising. I mean, the Jethro's were there. Admittedly, I didn't notice the Jethro's, which is fault on my part, but they are still there. They were still effective, and now QA has no Air Force. He has Glaives. That's pretty much all he has. In fact, that's pretty much all anyone has. There's one Zeus on the entire map. One Zeus and one Rocco, and five Jethros. Everything else is Glaives. Or maybe a few Rectors, but mostly Glaives. Which, as I mentioned before, on a map like this, not surprising, given the size, given the awkward terrain. Although, I mean, more so, it's not surprising that... Actually, it's not surprising, yeah. Given the way the terrain is set up, Glaives definitely do quite well. And a tick, nice tick shot, and the follow-up coming in as well. Didn't really care too much about that if the follow up was not there, but it definitely is. Cubay able to follow up a, almost late on that. Actually, he was late on that. He lost a glaive as a result of being late on that follow up. He does have glaives as well set up to deal with everything cube. Well, everything Silencer has in the center, trying to deal with this. Surround it first. And losing his main base once again. He has some workers set up there. His only hope right now is that these glaives are on the wrong side of the metal extractor, but being micro in position to get rid of. Well, getting rid of the. Rector, but really the Rector was signing its own death warrant by reclaiming that metal extractor. And not that it matters, Silencer losing his glaze, I mean it does matter a bit, those Rectors were very useful, Cubay was getting reclaimed income off that. Definitely a worthy thing for Silencer to harass. But Silencer is going to be taking some, well actually not really much damage at all. He is able to really deflect Cubay's attacks, Cubay really doesn't have a whole lot he can work with here. Silencer does have the center of the map. He is building all of his units off the center of the map. That needs to be dealt with. Cubay really has no way around this if he doesn't deal with this. He does have a fusion plant, though dangerously close to everything else in his base. Getting rid of that would kill everything else. Like, Silencer could build four or five sides, walk into this fusion plant, and destroy the entire base here. Killing Cubay's entire production. Not doing that, though. Still building glaives. Not building anything else. He does have a lot of glaives, though. There's definitely... A major advantage there. And Cubay once again going to harass the main base, which is undefended. The main source of power and currently not a source of metal. Well, at the same time, Silence are coming in and doing the same to Cubay, though Cubay has a fusion plant, which means these solar plants are not anywhere near as effective as they could be. And Cubay nicely gets rid of a metal extractor. Not a bad move, but unfortunately it is a bit of a bad move in that he does lose the glaives. The rest of the glaives are in the north, trying to get rid of the Jethro's, mostly trying to get rid of all the defenses around the power plants. Cubay is focusing on this fight. He doesn't have anything else to really focus on at this point. Getting rid of the melee charge is not bad, actually. That's fairly effective. Really slowing down Silencer's economy, so Cubay has a bit of a chance to get back in. Though Silencer still has twice the armies in terms of cost, and given that it's all glaives, that's basically twice the army. Period. He just has twice as many units in play. And Cubay able to get rid of a glaive, but loses his in response. Was able to get rid of a glaive without losing his first, though. Though, 2-1 fight, he won. Well, he broke even, really. And coming in, 
this is actually not going to be poorly information. He's going to be able to hit with the line. Like, uh, the broad side of the line, that is, not the narrow side. You don't hit the narrow side, the narrow side is death. But the broad side is exactly what you want. You'll encircle your opponents and kill them. Zeus taking all of the, tanking all of the defender shots. These glaives have, that is, Cubase's glaives have no real defenders to back to fall back onto. And really, I mean that's that is a lot of that is about almost three dozen glaives for Silencer alone. Like right there. Okay, now it's less, but it's thirty glaives. For Silencer, he's gonna actually take out this base pretty effectively, and QB at the same time doing the same thing, getting rid of the power infrastructure. Silencer has no power right now. But QB is getting hit hard in his production. I am kind of surprised he hasn't pushed out a warrior quickly. But no, he has not. He's trying to focus entirely using glaives, not getting a warrior. He has some ticks, and that's mostly stunning his own stuff. To be honest. Not helping too much, but Kyubei is able to still take his revenge, and he is doing quite effectively getting rid of Silencer's base, and apparently I cannot conjugate today, which is not at all unusual. I have very little experience with conjugation, but this isn't that kind of show. Kyubei able to get rid of Silencer's base, well, mostly get rid of it, get rid of the caretakers, which is helpful, but at the same time, Kyubei losing his entire base... And I keep missing the big explosions, because that fusion plant was a big explosion, which I totally missed. Bit of a running joke, I suppose. If anyone really cares. And QB is going... Well, going to get rid of some of the rectors, at least. At this point, I think that... How many rectors... Okay, there is a, con a couple constructors over to the south for Silencer. He does have that. A Glaive will get rid of one of them, though. And... Well, a lot of Glaives will get rid of one of them. And at the same time... Enough constructors for Kyubei, he can rebuild, so both players can rebuild. Kyubei actually wasting some of his metal, throwing it into the ether because he doesn't have any storage for that, and he's not using, more importantly, he's not using it. That's the big thing he needs to do. However, at the same time, he is harassing nicely, getting rid of some of Silencer's metal extractors, and Silencer has also gotten rid of a lot of his. So both players have pretty much been reset, though Kyubei does have a lot of power. Silencer has none. He has this solar collector, which was partially under construction. That's all he has for power infrastructure. And at this point, center of the map, far too few units. At this point, Kyubei actually has twice the army once again. So Kyubei's vengeance strike was more effective. I mean, the fusion plant probably didn't help, but the fact is that... That fusion plant probably didn't help. That, that's the thing. That explosion would have killed off a lot of Silence's forces, and Kyubei was just able to get out of there. I mean, Silencer's forces did not come in all at once. That was one thing to bear in mind. And also, Kibe was pumping out glaives while Silencer had to walk them in from the center. And neither player has their factory anymore. Though, Silencer's still getting rid of Kibe's metal infrastructure, and Kibe... Possibly... No, he's not going to lose this. These laser turrets will be able to protect this metal and energy. So Kibe at a bit of an advantage. Where are his rectors? Right now, he has two to the north, and... that Actually, four to the north. Four to the northwest... Glaives are coming in, trying to deal with them. If Kyubei is... Well, he's building more power, but he really needs to build either defense turret or a factory. There's no metal to be had here, but he could go for that. Actually, it looks like, at this point, Silencer not going for the northwest. Kyubei able to hide that effectively, but at the same time, the southwest is being attacked. So Kyubei, I can see why he'd need power. Now he definitely does need it. And at the same time, Kyubei moving into the center of the map to try to deal with what is left of Silencer's base... And I think that this will be it. I think Kyubei will be able to finish this off. Silencer has too few glaives. Once they meet up, Kyubei is going to win. And Kyubei has had a stronger economy this entire time. Ever since the last pair of factories went... Or last complete trade on factories. So Kyubei wasting some time in the Razor's Kiss. That is a little bit silly, but not terrible. Once he meets up with Silencer's forces, Silencer will be out. And Silencer actually... He has no builders. Silencer has to... No, he has no builders. Yeah, that's it. He cannot rebuild from here. He has two Jethro's and about three or four Glaives. That's... Yeah, four Glaives. That's it. Silencer has lost this game. And has surrendered, realizing he has lost. That is it. Well, that was certainly an interesting game. Kind of long, but... That was the game. Now, let's see. What time is it? It is currently... Okay, I'm going to be calling it then. So hope you enjoyed that, and thank you all for watching. Hope you didn't mind me too much embarrassing myself on C against Google Frog early on, but 
The last game, Cube and Silencer, was definitely a fascinating one. Two big base trades and a lot of glaives. Like I said, I'm not terribly surprised given how much terrain factored into that map because glaives just have the speed to deal with it. But yeah, when Cube was getting attacked in his main base, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't go for three or four warriors because he had the build power to get them probably in time. Anyway, that's it for me tonight, so thank you all for watching, everyone, and have a good night.